Hi everyone, welcome back to the Stride Workout of the Week. As always, my name is Evan. Today, we'll be recapping last week's winners and then building the Stride Workout of the Week for you in the Stride app. Last week, we had a marathon preparation workout, the London Bridge, in preparation for this fall's marathon season that featured a type of building pyramid workout with the increase of intensity and duration and it is a great option to run year round. Today we're gonna to talk about a little bit quicker workout, but before we do that, let's talk about last week's winners for the Stride Workout of the Week. You can see them here. Every week you can run the Stride Workout of the Week and post on social media, either Instagram, Twitter, or a Facebook group for your chance to win a free month of Stride membership after completing the Stride Workout of the Week. You can use the hashtag StrideWow, that's hashtag S-T-R-Y-D, W-O-W for your chance to win a free month of Stride membership. Let's jump on into the Stride Workout Builder and talk about this week's workout, the three times three times one workout. This is gonna be a pretty quick and efficient workout. All in all, it's gonna take 60 minutes on the dot. Uh, you can up uh, the warm up, you can reduce the cool down increase either, but by default, this is gonna be a pretty efficient uh, hour workout. We'll start with an 18 minute warm up at 70 to 80% of your stride auto calculated critical power or your auto CP. You can adjust this up or down as you see fit, but we're gonna keep it at the default for now. We'll start by going immediately into three times one minute on, one minute off. And the idea behind this is that we're gonna have three different sets of this three times one minute, hence the three times three times one. We're going to start off at 100 to 104% of your auto CP for the first block, this first block of three repeats. And that minute recovery is going to be at 70 to 80%. If you want to make this a little bit more marathon specific, you can decrease the intensity of the on slightly down to maybe 98 to 100% and then increase the intensity for the recovery. But by default, let's keep it at 100 to 104% for three repeats of one minute on with that recovery at 70 to 80%. After we finish this first block, we're gonna take a three minute easy recovery jog just at 70 to 80% before hopping into the next repeat. The next repeat, we're going to copy the repeat from before, that block from before, and just increase the intensity slightly, keeping the duration the exact same. We're gonna do three times one minute repeats with one minute recovery. Let's bump up that intensity to 103 to 106%. So we start right around your CP to right above your CP. So that might be right around your 10K power. This will be a little bit closer to 5K power, but we're doing it in one minute chunks with an equal time recovery. So you should feel pretty recovered in between each of these repeats. 103 to 106% is getting towards a little bit of intensity, but it should be something that you should be able to handle. We'll do the same exact structure by taking another three minute recovery portion before heading into the last of the three times one minute block. So we'll copy it again and we'll increase the intensity from 105 to 110%. So this will feel a little bit more strenuous. We're giving you the green light to press on a little bit for maybe the last one, two, or three repeats if you see fit. This will be well above your 5K power, maybe a little bit closer to that 3K or maybe that VO2 max power, maybe even a little bit closer to your one mile race ability, but down into a one minute chunk with an equal time recovery. And as you get through each of these steps, it's important to remember and kind of recognize that you only have to run for a minute. You have to do a minute of good intensity and then you get a minute break. Uh, after we finish the third repeat in this set, we'll head into an 18 minute cool down and that'll round everything out at 60 minutes again on the dot. If you'd like to expand this workout, we would suggest adding a, another block of intensity early on instead of increasing the intensity, maybe doing it another, you know, another set maybe around 100 to 102 before you do that 100 to 104% for the first. Just by padding that earlier volume, you give yourself a little bit more volume without that added uh, higher intensity later on in the workout. Otherwise, you could reduce the number of repeats overall to two repeats per block instead of three, and then add another block there, maybe add a little bit more intensity at the end. 
This template workout really gives you a foundation to build off of. It's pretty simple, but it does give you a lot of flexibility to customize towards your training schedule. We hope you enjoyed this quick 60 minute workout. Remember to run it and tag us on social media with the hashtag stridewow. That's hashtag S-T-R-Y-D-W-O-W for your chance to win a free month of stride membership. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.